Hi everybody, Donna here. Welcome to my channel. Um, I am going to do a walkthrough of the Everyday Witch Tarot. Now I have the regular size and I have the mini. So we're going to do a walkthrough at the same time, okay? Um, see if it works. Um, it should work out. Um, but these are the different box sizes that you see here, okay? So, obviously, there's a huge difference. So, yeah. So, um, this is um, uh, the Everyday Witch Tarot here. The big box. The regular size by Deborah Blake, by the way. And art by Elizabeth Alba. And then this is the size of the mini. Okay? So... Let's um, let's move these and get the decks in. Now, I, I have used these. So, again, um, they are going to be, um, you are going to, I put them back in order so that we can do this, okay? So, here we have them. They are so cute. They are identical, you know, which is really nice. I really do feel like, you know, they, they, they are very much identical. Now, let me just try to get this a little lower for us um, so that we can see everything. Um, like this. So we're going to put them together, and then we'll go from there. Okay? So I hope that's good for everybody. All right. So here we go. So we have the Fool. Then we have the Magician. The Magician is a really, really nice card. I just love this deck. It's so right away and it's so easy, so if you know anybody or if you're just beginning, this would be a lovely deck to pick up, okay? So then we have the High Priestess, the Empress, and they are like, they, yeah, they're just, they're a clone of each other, right? They did, uh, the printing's really good on both. So then we have the Emperor, The Hero Fat, The Lovers, The Chariot, um, Strength, The Hermit, The Wheel of Fortune, Justice. Then we have the Hanged Man. I like this Hanged Man version hanging from the broom. Uh, the Devil. Uh, we have Temperance. Oh, sorry. That was not the, that was death. So I said the devil and I meant to say death. It's written right there. Then we have temperance. Then we have the devil. The tower. I like this tower. Very, very, very good. Um, st the star. Then we have the moon. Then we have the sun. Judgment, the world, and the Ace of Wands. Then we have the Two of Wands, the Three of Wands, Four. We have the Five of Wands, the Six of Wands. A seven of wands. This is the eight of wands. 
the nine of wands. Ten of wands. These are very, so simple to read because they're just, you know, they just, everything is kind of self-explanatory in them, you know? The page of wands. If you know a little bit, you studied right away a little bit, you'll, it's just very good, right? Then we have the knight of wands, the queen of wands, and the king of wands. Uh, we have the Ace of Cups, Two of Cups, Three of Cups, uh, Four of Cups, Five of Cups. Now, the only thing that doesn't fit in this card with the Five of Cups, let me bring that back, is the balloons. You know, um, yeah, a party gone wrong, I guess, you know, is the way you can look at that. But, yeah, the Five of Cups is, I just didn't like the balloon placement. So, I don't know. Just a personal thing. Six of Cups. Then we have the Seven of Cups. The Eight of Cups, um, the Nine of Cups, Ten of Cups, the Page of Cups, the Knight of Cups, The Queen of Cups. I love the colors in here. I like it all. The King of Cups. Then we go on to the swords. So we have the Ace of Swords. <clears throat> the Two of Swords. The Three of Swords. The Four of Swords. The Five of Swords. The Six of Swords. The Seven of Swords. The Eight of Swords. The Nine of Swords. The Ten of Swords. The Page of Swords, the Knight of Swords, the Queen of Swords, and the King of Swords. Then our last one is Pentacles. So we have the Ace of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, and the King of Pentacles. So, yeah, so that is um, essentially the decks. They are beautiful decks, absolutely gorgeous decks. So, yeah, so... If you want to get your hands on one of them, you can get either the um, the large one or the regular size one, or you can get the mini one. Um, either would um, would be very very good. I forgot to show you guys the book that um, there is no book at all with the mini version, but with the 
um, with the regular size tarot, there is a hefty book, okay? It's very thick pages. It's all colored. It's places to take notes, things to consider. You know, you get a full color page. It's a beautiful book. Very, very well done. Um, you know, um, it's just really, really nice. Um, her version, I just love the way she writes and everything is just explained so well. And I think that's part of why this is um, a very, very much a beginner's deck. You know, a couple of um, spreads at the back, you know, an introduction to her and the artist, you know, and there's not a lot of fluff. Um, you know, how to do a reading, you know, a small introduction, and then it just gets, you know, um, you know a little bit extras, three spells to use with the tarot, you know, um, stuff like that, right? Cleansing your tarot, a good spell for reading, and then they get right into it, right? So, yeah, it's a really good book. Like I said, it's, it's full color. It is a beautiful book, and it's uh, nice and hefty, okay? So there you go, my dear. Thank you very much, and blessings.